My wife and I grew up in the Baptist religion. In the late 80s, my wife stayed with Jehovah's Witnesses. She also studied with her children and started attending the meetings regularly. Back then, they had what's called the Congregation Bible Studies that were in some homes. And the brothers asked if the that my house could be a meeting place. Did you sit in on any of those meetings? Not really. Uh, the first time they had it, uh, I went up the stairs, I opened up the beer, and I listened. <laughs> Was that the only time you listened to the meeting? Well, the second time, I didn't open the beer, and I didn't take it, but I just sat and listened. The third time, I went up the stairs, and I decided, since this is my house, I might as well just go on up. What were your thoughts about what they were learning? Well, I was a little apprehensive. I wasn't opposing my wife's efforts to learn, and I also did have a notion to learn also. Okay. Well, did you accept your own study? I did, yet I was very inconsistent. I studied off and on throughout the 90s. Well, what prevented the light from shining through then? I want to do my own thing. And as a result, I was making some unwise choices. I got in some financial and legal difficulties. After another DUI, I entered a rehab program. Well, how did Jehovah lift the veil so that the light could get through? During that time, I had time to study the Bible. As a Baptist, I was taught the heavenly hope. But in the book of Psalms 37, or chapter 37, it talked about an earthly hope. But yet that truth still didn't sink in. Since when Jehovah used my daughter, during a family session, she said, Dad, if you continue your life course, you will not be me in paradise. That really hit me home, because I wanted to be with my wife and children in that earthly paradise. Nice. How have you progressed since then? Well, I realized that Jehovah has to direct my steps. So I started making spiritual advancement to the point that I was baptized in May of 2003. Uh, scriptural truths were brought forward more, and our family increased in spirituality. And I've been able to serve as a, I have the privilege of serving as a ministerial servant in a great band congregation. Thank you, Brother Scott, and also Sister Northrup for those wonderful expressions.